Hello, Vichra. Let us see the question. The question says a small block of mass 0.1 kg lies on a fixed inclined plane PQ, which makes an angle theta with the horizontal. A force of 1 Newton acts on the block through its center of mass as shown in the figure. The, blocks remain, the block remains stationary if uh, g is to be taken as 10 meter per second square. So, let us see the key concept for the question. Now, according to the key concept, jab uh, ek object jo hai, for its equilibrium position on its inclined plane, to us pe jo net force hona chahiye, the net force on the uh, particle should be zero. That is, uska jo main components hai, jaise weight ka component hai, and the frictional force acting upwards or any other force which is uh, acting upwards uh, to prevent its downfall so net force on the system shall be equal to zero so now let us see the question question mein hamare paas ek body di gayi hai uh, these are the vertices of the inclined plane o q o and p and yahan pe hamare paas ek body hai which has been usme ek newton ka force lag raha in this direction and this will be the weight component jo niche ki taraf act kar raha and this will be the component of normal reaction to hamare paas jo hai uh, if it is sliding suppose if it is sliding downwards under the force of gravity is yes, uh, slide karega downwards therefore friction will be acting upwards in this case to agar hum iske liye free body diagram banaye pehle this is the angle of theta and this will be angle of 90 minus of theta in the case to agar hum iske liye free body diagram consider kare then this is the normal reaction force this is the 1 newton of force and downwards jo hamare paas hai that is the weight uh, weight of the body so agar hum mg ko resolve kare it will be like this this will be mg ka part and this will be another component for mg this is the angle theta this will be mg times of cos of theta and this will be mg times of sin of theta. So, if we resolve 1 Newton, ko bhi resolve kare, the resolution of it will be something like this and one more component in the similar direction. And niche yaha ki taraf jo director hoga, that will be 1 multiplied by cos of 90 minus of theta because this will be the 90 minus theta part and then this part jo upward directed hoga this will be 1 multiplied by sin times of 90 minus of theta so agar hum uh, normal components ko uh, equate kare normal components ko equate kare then we have n is equal to mg times of cos of theta plus of 1 multiplied by cos of 90 minus of theta so hum isko likh sakte hain as n is equal to that will be mg times of cos of theta plus of cos uh, cos of 90 minus theta we know it is equal to the sin of theta so resolving it we get uh, sin of theta in the case so let uh, suppose this is equation first then ab agar hum along the plane wale components ko dekhe, along the plane let us see the components which are along the plane then we have uh, mg sin of theta and frictional force bhi isi direction mein hoga then we have in this case is Then we have in this case is 1 multiplied by sine of 90 minus of theta. This shall be equal to plus of f. This shall be equal to mg times of sine of theta. Which implies now sine of 90 minus of theta that is equal to cos of theta. that is equal to cos of theta then putting in the equation we will have cos of theta is equal to 
एम जी टाइम्स ऑफ साइन ऑफ थीटा माइनस ऑफ एफ कॉल दिस विल कॉल द सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ वी नो एफ इज इक्वल टू म्यू टाइम्स ऑफ आर देन अगर हम इसको सेकेंड इक्वेशन में पुट करें देन वी हैव कॉस ऑफ थीटा इक्वल टू एम जी टाइम्स ऑफ साइन ऑफ थीटा माइनस ऑफ म्यू टाइम्स ऑफ आर Going to the next slide, so we have cos of theta is equal to mg times of sine of theta minus of mu times of r. Minus times of mu times of n, and n ka value jo ham pehle nikal chuke hain, that is mg times of cos of theta. plus of sin of theta so let us suppose this is the third equation and this was the first equation putting the value of first in the third equation we have so we can write it down as cos of theta is equal to mg times of sin of theta minus of mu times of mg cos of theta minus of sin of theta so we can also write it down as cos of theta jo ho jayega that is mg times of sin of theta minus of mu times of mg cos of theta minus of mu times of sin of theta lekin agar hum consider kare in case of a frictionless plane agar hum frictionless plane ki baat kar rahe hain then in that case mu gets reduced to zero so which implies agar hum mu equal to 0 put kare back into the equation we have cos of theta is equal to mg times of sin of theta the rest of the elements will reduce to 0 so we can have it as so we can have it as sin of theta by cos of theta is equal to वन डिवाइडेड बाई एम इन टू जी सो विच एम्प्लाइज हमारा टैन ऑफ थीटा जो हो जाएगा दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाई हमें जो मास दिया गया है क्वेश्चन में दैट इज पॉइंट वन के जी एंड सेकेंडली हमारे पास जी जो हमें कहा गया है लेने के लिए दैट इज टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो देर फोर वी हैव इट एज पॉइंट वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन सो विच एम्प्लाइज हमारा टैन ऑफ थीटा जो होना चाहिए दैट इज इक्वल टू वन विच इज Which implies हमारा थीटा जो होगा दैट विल बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंड हमारा जो फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स हम ऑलरेडी डायग्राम में देख चुके हैं दैट इज डिरेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द क्यू सो मूविंग टू द फर्स्ट स्लाइड सो आर फाइनल आंसर इज थीटा शुड बी ग्रेटर देन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज एंड द फोर्स एक्ट ऑन द ब्लॉक शुड बी टूवर्ड्स क्यू सो आर फाइनल आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड इट वेल एंड बेस्ट ऑफ लॉक